when the mind crosses the mundane and connects with something uplifting. It could be a thought, an action or a deed. That is called a spiritual state. Music is the language of the soul. Indian music is based on Shruti. So our ultimate aim is to be in Shruti, to connect to the Shruti. We say in Indian philosophy, the Atma connects to the Paramatma. So the singer or an instrumentalist, me as an instrumentalist, the aim is to stick and adhere and join the main sa, the tonic note as much as possible to blend with it and create that cosmic and spiritual effect. These swaras, sari gama padani are not just random frequencies in the ether. They are swara devatas, they have power and each frequency in the ether creates an impact on our soul and in the cosmos. Now, Riga Madani, in connection with this Sa, when it comes in the right frequency, it creates a beautiful vibration. That is spiritual. You don't have to know the lyrics, the language or anything. Just the music makes you want to cry, to laugh, to jump with joy and feel happy or sad. Now, as a musician, adhering to Shruti, and being within the parameters of a raga. Raga is a living thing. And knowing the phrases of the raga, being in Shruti, singing the phrases of the raga, within a metric cycle, within a thala cycle of 7, 5, 9, 11, 13, anything. Isn't that such an uplifting experience? This is spiritual. And I want to add that anybody who practices music has a beautiful impact on the brain, on education and it enhances your personality.